Well, with less than 65 days until Election Day, the rush to get Ohioans to volunteer as poll workers and get voters registered at Races On. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for staying with us. First at four, I'm Brad Johansson. On this Monday, I'm Darlene Hill. Here's a question for you. Do you need a haircut? Do you yes. need a lineup? Do you just need a new hairstyle? Well, Secretary of State Frank LaRose is hoping that more people listen to their barbers, not just about their hair, <laughs> but about their vote. NBC 4's Adrian Robbins, live with more on this story. Adrian. Well, Darlene, here at a cut above the rest, the owner has helped thousands register to vote. And now Secretary LaRose is hoping that other barbershops and salons across the state will do the same. Now, this new initiative is called Styling for Democracy. Now vote. The Secretary of State's office is partnering with salons and barbershops, hoping they can encourage people to get out there and vote and become a poll worker. Now, resources like ballot applications and information on volunteering are already being sent to 110 barber and Salon schools in the state. This, is according to the Secretary of State's office. Now, when it comes to getting Ohioans, especially in minority communities, to vote, the Diversity Council believes this, along with partnering with churches, will be a big selling point. The two locations where people of color go to almost every week. If my pastor tells me that it's safe to go vote and it's safe to be a poll worker, then I believe my pastor. If my barber tells me that it's safe to go vote, and it's safe to work the poll, then I believe them. And that is going to be so important because Ohio is in need of 35,000 poll workers. And with COVID-19 concerns, Secretary LaRose says he hopes a younger generation will be stepping up. And, of course, the registration deadline to vote in Ohio is October 5th. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Adrienne Robbins, NBC4.